Jesus said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. It may not come the first five seconds. It may not come the first minute. He may not speak to you the very first few minutes. But when you just go to say, Lord, I love you. And I praise you. And I thank you. Now, God, I need to hear from you. When you surrender your heart, if you'll just, just tarry and just wait. Oh, hallelujah. You'll know his voice when he speaks. You'll know who's talking to you. He goes to talking to you. When he talks to you, you know, hallelujah, who's talking. And you know that you're hearing from heaven. He talks. And he tells you, if you'll listen, he'll instruct you. He'll tell you where to go, when to go, what to do while you're there. And he'll give you peace that you've never known before. He'll give you an understanding of his ways, his will, his word. For those joining by television, we're talking about God Jehovah and His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, the Trinity. They'll come down and they'll visit with you, and you can have a Holy Ghost party with them. And I'm not talking about the worldly type party. I'm talking about just a, an association, a gathering. But I want all of you joining by television and church in here, it's not going to hurt a thing this morning if you shout a little bit, if you praise a little bit. People by television won't care. But you joining by television, you've got an opportunity. Let me, let me clarify two things. And I know that God's probably not going to let me preach the message that he gave me this morning. I already know that because it may not be meant for right now. But you're sitting in front of that two, television for one of two reasons this morning. You're either sitting there because you know that I preach the truth and you want to hear it. Or you're sitting in front of that television because God wants you to hear what's going to be preached today. He wants you to hear the word. He loves you and he loves, he loves, he loves, he loves every aspect of you except the sin that might be in your life. If you're a child of God and your sins are under the blood... You're sitting there because God wants you to hear the truth today. Right now, put your hands together in here. Make welcome Crossroads Church as Sister Linda sings for the glory of the Lord. Someone who can. Well, I, I, I 
know someone? Do you know someone? Hallelujah, hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Can you give him praise this morning? Hallelujah. You know, there's, there are those joining by television. You're sitting there this morning. And, and I tell the congregation, Sunday nights are for us. Tuesday nights are for us to learn. But Sunday mornings is to talk to those joining by television also. Because you see, we can't be selfish with what God has taught us. We can't just hoard what God has told us. There's some sitting in front of the television right now that are running. You know you're running from God. You know you're miserable. You've tried drugs, and drugs is not helping. It's making matters worse. You've tried alcohol, and alcohol's not working. It's making matters worse. You've tried the worldly cures. You've tried the worldly pleasures, and they're making matters worse. You've been controlled by the devil long enough. Jesus loves you. I don't know who you are, but I know that God has told me this morning that this program is for you. He's told me that I can't preach what I had intended or what... The first message that came to me this morning, I can't, I can't preach that right now. But I have to make a plea to you because he wants to turn your life around. He wants to change the course that you're on because you've been called to do a work for him. And you're running. Surrender. Surrender right now. Just surrender because Jesus loves you and so do we. We care about those of you joining by television. God has blessed me, and, and this morning, and I'm going to take another minute of this time. I came to the church this morning, and just like I do every Sunday morning, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed, and while I was at my office, I was still praying, and I was just so thankful because there's not many pastors, not many evangelists, not many churches that have been blessed like we at Crossroads have. We started with absolutely nothing but God. We had God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost when we started. We didn't have a congregation. We didn't have a, a, a bank account. We didn't have a building fund. We didn't have anything. We had the Lord and a commitment.